Topic 13, Lesson 1, Fractions as Multiples of Unit Fractions. Well, so far, you know how to identify a fraction that names a part of a whole, such as 3 eighths or 5 6 You also know about representing fractions as sums. For example, 3 eighths equals is the same as 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth. In this lesson, you're going to learn that every fraction can be described as a product of a whole number and a unit fraction. Our standard is to apply and extend previous understandings of multiplication to multiply a fraction by a whole number. Understand a fraction a over b as a multiple of 1 over b. Mathematical practices. We're going to construct viable arguments and critique the reasoning of others. We're going to model with mathematics and we're going to look for and make use of structure. Our focus is how can you describe a fraction using a unit fraction? Let's take a look. So for example, we know that 3 eighths equals 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth. And since the denominators are the same, they're like denominators, all we have to do is add the numerators. So that's where we get our 3. And again, the 8, the denominator, stays the same. So let's take a look at 3 fourths. Now, there's a couple ways we can actually go about showing this. The first way is what we've seen before, is we know that 3 fourths is the same as 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. So those are the same. They equal the same. Well, what if we were to go ahead and show it through a multiplication? Since we know that there are 3 1 fourths, we could just do 3 times 1 fourth. And we're just going to multiply across, and we're still going to get 3 fourths. The denominator stays the same. We don't change it. We're just multiplying straight across. Let's try 8 fifths. See if you can find a couple ways to show 8 fifths. So pause the video and try it on your own and come right back. Good luck. All right, how'd you do? Well, since our denominator is 5 and our numerator is 8, we know that all the denominator is going to be 5. So we could do 1 fifth plus 1 fifth plus 1 fifth plus 1 fifth plus 1 fifth, 3, 4, 5 plus 1 fifth plus 1 fifth, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 plus 1 fifth. So we could, could show it that way, or we can multiply it. We could say that 8 times 1 fifth equals 8 fifths. Is that what you did? Good. All right. Well, now try some on your own. Good luck.